Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Terry and you're watching the AXO. Now so far, we are all accustomed to frames win games. That is still true, however, we are missing one really important thing. Now of course, your skills and gaming equipment is important, yes. But having your fast PC responding quickly to your instructions is relatively important as well. Now not long ago, the Zotac RTX 3070 Amp Holo GPU came into the studio. And that's right, today, we're going to be talking about latency. Now the way we've always measured how well our PC run is by FPS or frames per second. But FPS is a PC's measurement of throughput and not its responsiveness. So to understand and better gauge your PC's responsiveness, we need to measure latency. But what is latency? It is the time it takes for your mouse clicks or your actions to be recognized by your PC and then having the relevant actions appear on your display. Now before this, to measure latency, you needed really expensive camera equipment and a modified mouse to do so. That is, until the NVIDIA Reflex came along. NVIDIA Reflex is the company's latest esports technology that not only analyzes latency but reduces it as well. In multiplayer gaming, we rely on two latencies, which is network latency and system latency. Now, network latency, also known as ping, is something that's heavily dependent on your internet service provider, so we won't go too much into that for this video. Now, today, we're gonna be talking about system latency. Now, why is system latency so important? Now, that's because it helps you see your opponents faster, mitigate peakers' advantage, and it helps you improve your aiming precision. Now, think about it. If your PC and display can exhibit visual changes quickly, that means you can see your opponents faster than they can see you. Now, it may just be a split second, but you now have the extra time frame to aim more properly and execute your commands faster. Overall, the NVIDIA Reflex reduces latency and improves your PC's overall responsiveness. Now, seeing how we can control and take advantage of system latency, there are actually three types. Input latency, system latency, and display latency. Now, input latency is how fast your keyboard and mouse sends the signal to the PC. Now, from there, system latency is measured by how fast your PC processes that signal. And lastly, display latency measures how fast your display can visualize the signal sent from the PC and subsequently showing it on the screen. Now, let's take a look at the latency that's within your PC. Now, usually your input device would be the ones to send these batch of instructions to the PC and your CPU is at the front line to receive these signals and to start processing them. Now, the CPU determines the relevant action that should be triggered from your input, like performing physical computations, algorithms, and more. It then sends along these instructions to the GPU so that your input can be rendered and shown on the display. Now, what happens is your CPU usually sends these instructions faster than your GPU can process them. And that is why they end up in a render queue. This results in a higher latency because your frames have to wait in line for them to be processed and rendered. Now to remedy this, Nvidia released two new features, one on the driver level and one on the software level. Now for the driver level, it's as simple as opening up your Nvidia control panel and turning the low latency mode to ultra. Now on the game level, Nvidia released the Nvidia Reflex SDK to game developers so that you can turn on the ultra low latency mode in game. Now Nvidia Reflex comes in three options, off, on, and on plus boost. Off means off, and on is straightforward. But on plus boost, basically it overrides the power saving feature on your GPU so that it can have the highest clock speed available and your frames will be rendered as soon as possible. Now turning on on plus boost is basically the same as going back to your Nvidia control panel and setting the power management feature to prefer performance. A little fun fact. The NVIDIA Reflex feature is available right now on the RTX 30 series GPUs, but great news, it is also available on the GTX 900 series and above. So if you have a compatible GPU, you can use this feature. But that is not all. The real kicker here is you don't even need to use a G-Sync display. That's right, any monitor that you're using right now will work with the NVIDIA Reflex feature. Probably not a CRT monitor though, but yes, whatever monitor you're running on your desktop should work fine. Now, games that support NVIDIA Reflex include Fortnite, Apex Legends, uh, the Call of Duty series, you know, Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare, Destiny 2, and more. Now to demonstrate the NVIDIA Reflex in action, we're going to use our own PC which has the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. This little, okay, maybe not little, this big baby right here, the Zotac GeForce RTX 3070 M Holo GPU with 8 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM and 16 gigs of RAM. So yeah. By the way guys, this is an amazing GPU. 
to see for yourself. Now first, you're going to want to install the latest graphics driver from GeForce Experience and the latest game patch from Epic's Game Launcher. Now in the game, go to Video Settings page, scroll down and set the latency markers to on. Then, go to the Game UI tab and turn on Latency Debug Stats. Latency numbers are measured in milliseconds, so the lower the better. Now to improve these numbers, go back to the settings page and set the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode to On Plus Boost. Now what you'll expect to see is a 30-50% to 50 reduction in latency depending on the game you're playing, your in-game settings and the resolution that you're playing at. Now you might think, oh, I can't even feel the difference, so why should I bother? It doesn't matter if you feel the difference. What matters is if there is a difference between your PC's latency and your opponent's PC's latency. Now to put things simply, the lower your latency, the faster you see him... Boom. You know what I mean? Now FPS is crucial, but latency is also important because these two technologies work hand in hand to give you the best competitive edge. So if you have a compatible GPU and you're playing a game that supports the NVIDIA Reflex feature, be sure to keep your FPS high and your latency low. So that is it from me for the NVIDIA Reflex Ultra Low Latency Mode. I want to give a big thanks, a big shout out to Zotac and NVIDIA for supporting us. Without you, this video wouldn't be possible. And also thank you guys for watching this video till the end. I hope you've learned something new today. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Terry. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you all the next time.